Hi friends, today we're gonna to talk about my most read authors. Three years ago to the day, today's the day, I filmed a video of my most read authors and I thought it would be interesting to go back and look at the list and compare if I have continued to read some of those authors or if I have not and just kind of take a look at it, see if I have any new authors that are creeping up into that number and just take a peek at it. So my old list was from lowest to highest with 13 books, Rick Riordan, with 15 books, James Patterson, also with 15 books, Cassie Clare, with 16 books, Rochelle Mead, with 18 books, PC and Kristen Cast, and with 19 books, Laurel K. Hamilton. It might surprise you to know that four of those six have stayed exactly the same, and only two have continued to grow. Not only have two continued to grow, but those two are higher than the highest number of the old list. So let's compare. The only two that moved were Riordan and Claire. So the old high number was 19. The new high number is 29. And that, my friends, is Cassie Clare, which is not really a surprise if you've been here before. What's interesting is that three years ago, I had only read 15 Cassie Clare books, which means in three years, I have literally doubled the number of Cassie Clare books that I have read. And then the other person that moved up the list was Rick Riordan. So in my old list, I had read 13 Riordan books. And in the new list, I've read 22. So not quite the jump, but still 22 is more than the old list's high number. Does any of this make sense to you? Okay, that's everyone from the old list that has moved. Everyone else has stayed the same, whether it's because I stopped reading their works or they haven't published anything since then. The newer people that I would say are definitely growing on the list would be Amanda Hawking, who I have read, we're at 12. Uh, Holly Black, I've read nine, Move It Up. Also Move It Up in the World, surprise to absolutely no one, Susan Dennard my queen. And the other person that's moving up the list with seven books is Marissa Meyer. There's quite a few people that I've read a lot of books from in the past few years. And if they had written more, then I would have read them. So they're they're moving up in the list. I think the reason why I wanted to make this video and talk about this is the difference in what I have read over the past three years and how being a part of booktube and seeing other people talk about books that they love and enjoy has definitely changed the type of books that I read because the authors from my original list, Laurel K. Hamilton, James Patterson, and PC and Kristen Cast, who I have read many books from in the past, I haven't been reading, but they've still been publishing. Interesting to look at there. I think I've learned more of my taste in reading rather than just, I like this book, so I'm going to continue reading it. And in the past, prior to BookTube, I would have just continued reading the series regardless because I had enjoyed the first few books and I would have continued reading them because I wouldn't have really known what else to read. I always struggled finding new books and I guess I never really utilized my library the way that I should have, but that's neither here nor there. But I just think it's interesting to look at book two and its effects on my reading. Like, I don't know, whenever the original um, Cinder book came out from the Lunar Chronicles, I had no interest in reading it whatsoever. And part of that was because I don't like or haven't in the past liked retellings and especially not Cinderella retellings and I've never been a huge fan of cyborgs or sci-fi in general but I guess either I've just only ever read bad versions of that or my reading taste has changed one or the other but had I not been on booktube and had I not heard other people talking about them never would have read them so 
basically, BookTube is a good influence. I like it. The materialistic part, we can discuss that. The consumerism, that's another, that's a whole other can of worms. Because if we were talking about how many books I own by these authors, it would be a whole different list. Maybe that's a list you'd like to see. Would you like to see which authors I own the most books from versus most books I've read? Because I own a lot of Susan Dennard books and a lot of Cassie Clare books. Like a lot. Yeah. I like owning multiple copies of book series that I love. I like supporting authors that I love. And so, again, a consumerism issue, sure. But if I'm enjoying it and having fun, so let me know in the comments below what your most read authors are, whether it's one or two, or you want to give me a whole list of six, or you want to discuss who your most read author was when you started BookTube versus who your most read author is now, or even if it's just like an author that you really loved when you started BookTube that you've learned over the years isn't necessarily your taste because you've actually figured out what your taste is by reading multiple different things on BookTube. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear more about how your tastes have changed. And if you think my change is good, that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.